Hey guys, it's Dave. We're back with some more Unreal Engine. Today we are going to download Unreal Engine 5 and we're going to get started with our very first project. Now I'm learning right along with you, so if there are a couple of bumps along the way, you'll forgive me, but I just thought it'd be fun to learn together. So here we go. Let's check it out. Go to epicgames.com. Now once you are in Epic, you will see their homepage here. Uh, all kinds of cool stuff on their homepage. Feel free to look around. They've actually got their own uh, game website here where you can purchase things. They've got uh, a bunch of learning resources. A couple of things to look at. Uh, the store here, news, and then over here is Unreal Engine. But Unreal, before we download that directly, you might want to consider going over to here to the right side and saying get Epic Games. What this will do is actually download the Epic Games launcher for you so you can load it straight from your uh, taskbar, straight from your desktop. So I'm going to come down here. You see where it's Epic uh, Installer. Go ahead and click that. I'm on a PC. If you're on a Mac, that's cool. So when you come down here, now that you've installed it, you have the Epic Games Launcher here right on your desktop. So if we launch that, and now it's preparing the launcher. Hello. So there we are. That's what it looks like. Now, it's got all kinds of stuff here on the front page, so you can explore what that's all about. Now, if you see here where it says launch Unreal Engine 4.27.0, this is a previous engine that I have downloaded, but we want to download Unreal Engine 5 to get started now. That's right here. So feel free to look around. It's got the marketplace, which is really cool. A bunch of stuff here. You'll actually see a bunch of stuff here on the left. I've actually hidden those through the settings. You can go through the settings. If you say hide game library, so I'll, I'll hunt it unhide it and you can see now here's probably what you're seeing so if you don't want the store or the library or anything like that just again go down to engine uh, excuse me go down to settings and say hide game library hide it yes please go back to settings and now all you'll see is unreal engine and because i'm not going to be playing a lot of games right now i'm more interested in learning the engine i'm just setting it up for this so the first thing you're going to want to do when you click on this is you're gonna to wanna to download a, an engine, right? Because there are different types of engines, different versions of the engines. So we're gonna download Unreal Engine 5 right now. I'll click on this. All you gotta do is go right, go right here. Now, if you're really great, you can access the source code if you know C++, which is what Unreal is uh, written in. But uh, then you can just download it right here. And then if you want to go down and check out a few other things, it's got documentation. It's got the whole online learning here, which is a whole bunch of courses and tutorials, which is really great. And then you can also get sample projects uh, to showcase the new features. And what's really cool, what I'm looking forward to here, are the metahumans uh, that are compatible with Unreal Engine 5. So that is pretty cool. So for now, let's go up here and download the early access. Now keep in mind, as it says, we're very excited to offer early access to Unreal Engine 5. This build is specifically aimed at developers who like to live on the bleeding edge. Keep that in mind. We hope you'll enjoy this chance to get your hands on Unreal Engine 5, but at this time, we recommend only using it for testing the new features, planning and prototyping your future next-gen games, and providing us with your valuable feedback. We're going to take a risk, and we're going to install it. Now, we, we can in, uh, let's see, create a shortcut. Yes, 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 all that stuff. Okay, so I'm going to install it now. Yes, I want to make changes. So that's installing on the computer as we speak. Uh, and if we have any questions or if it's not quite working for us, if it's too buggy, whatever the case may be, then we will go back to using uh, Unreal Engine 4.27.0. And there's lots of learning and tutorials and basically getting started with all that kind of stuff too. It's about... 12 gigs, so you can see 12.3 gigs. So while that's downloading, let's take a look around here and let's see what else we can look at. So if you look over here on the Learn tab, you'll see Getting Started with Unreal. There's an Artist Quick Start, a Level Designer Quick Start, and there's a lot of different things here that you can look at depending on how far advanced along you are in real time. That's one of the things I really like about this Epic Games Launcher is that it's really a homepage that keeps you up on all the latest stuff. So somebody's designed a background blur widget. Uh, there's pre-computed lighting scenarios that get added. Uh, if you're into architecture, there's stuff like that. If you're into cars and, and design, there's all kinds of things there. There's previs for things like concerts and lighting for your DMX lights, things like that. 
This is a really exciting thing. Metahumans, cannot wait for this. And then if you haven't seen the Meerkat demo yet from What a Digital, it's actually really, really cute uh, and quite, quite uh, the artistic feat. So just all kinds of new things to, to look at and learn. Uh, but definitely get started with Real Unreal Engine 4 here is kind of the first place that you want to go. And that'll bring up its own page here where you'll see there's different courses. There's courses for level designers, for games, for artists, if you just want to start sketching stuff. Programmers, if you want to get under the hood and start adding things in C++. Uh, you can go through the terminology. This is actually a good place to start because it'll cover the most commonly used terms when working with Unreal Engine. And then you've got Unity developers. If you're a Unity developer and you're just coming over for the first time, this is a great place to go too. And then you've got tools and editors and things that are covered uh, that are used with Unreal Engine 4, but are also going to be ported under, uh, over to Unreal Engine 5. And then there's all kinds of stuff. There's required hardware and software in case you're wondering about what kind of computer you need. You've got installing the engine, the source code, release notes, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, over here, what's nice is that you've got all the different things within Unreal, like the editor viewpoints, that it'll give you tools and tricks and, and tutorials on. You got geometry, you got content browsing, lighting, materials, shading, blueprint, visual scripting, all this stuff. Uh, you can even play test your game once you get it done. And then getting started for custom licenses. So if you design a game or if you make something that's gonna require a bigger license to use commercially, you can do that. And you'll see all those right over here under the Unreal Engine 4 documentation as well. And there's just, there's so much information on this page. It's a great place to go start. All right, so once everything is done downloading, you can move over to now to your launch window and uh, go ahead and launch that. And you'll see it starts bringing up the Unreal Engine Editor, which is different than your Epic Games Launcher. So now when you get to this, we can full screen this for a second. And what you'll see here is your base of operations, okay? This gives you a bunch of templates and over here, you've got folders for recent projects. If you want to create games, film, video architecture, automotive, uh, Unreal is used for all of this. And then it's got uh, project defaults over here. It's got something called Blueprint, which is actually a project where you can use sort of visual uh, cues to do your programming, or you can get under the hood here with C++. And then you can set your qualities and all that kind of stuff. So make sure that your project location, you go ahead and set down here. And once you want to create a project, go ahead and hit blank. And actually, you know what? Let's see, what are we going to do? We're going to click third person for now just to get started. Okay? So we're going to have down here. Once you've got all this stuff set to where you want it, and go ahead and click create. And this will bring up the Unreal Engine Editor My Project folder. And once this happens, you will now find yourself fully in Unreal Engine. And there's all kinds of things that we're going to play with here, but that'll have to wait for another video. But just for giggles, we'll give you a little, a little look here, a little tour around the world of the first digital man. What shall we call him? Adam? Let's call him Adam. So you can actually just start playing right away. Have him jump off. We can have him jump on. So you can just basically get started with playing your own game here. So that is the intro to how to download and install Unreal Engine 5. And we will come back to it and get into it in future videos. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you come back for more. What's nice about being able to learn right along with you is I'm no expert here, okay? I'm just kind of showing you what I've learned in a very real way. And if there's any questions you have or any concerns or any tips and tricks you might have for me, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to learn from you. I'm literally just getting started with, with this. I feel like I'm all thumbs actually. And uh, I just look forward to one day being able to use this tool really well to be able to tell the stories that I wanna tell. So what about you guys? How are you planning on using Unreal Engine? What is your goal? Where are you in the process? I'd love to know. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.